And you, you take a machete and cut the ends of it off, like he's doing, to get to the seeds, right? Well, hey everybody, we're here in uh, Ocaña, Colombia, at the house of my, uh, <laughs> of Doris's mom and dad, and I'm with my brother-in-law, Alvaro, and uh, he's gonna explain to us how uh, cocoa or chocolate is processed, and we have the raw, uh, from the very start to the finish, he's going to walk us through about six steps, and uh, Alvaro empieza. And I told him I would stop him now and then so that I could uh, explain to all of you in English what he's talking about, empieza. Okay, this is se llama la cascara. This is the uh, where the seeds come from. He's taking off the uh, you, you you pick this from the tree, <laughs> and you you take a machete and cut the ends of it off like he's doing to get to the seeds, right? Uh, okay, he's going to show you. There you go. Those are the seeds that have to be dried and ground that are transformed into chocolate. So now he's going to walk us through the process. Okay. Continua. Okay, go ahead. Viene el proceso de, de colocarlo al sol para secado. Okay, and then he says from here, you put the seeds like you see in this where I'm touching, you put them out into the sun for about 15 days on a uh, tarp or uh, any kind of a container. It takes about 15 days for the sun to dry these uh, seeds before they're ground. Okay, empieza otra vez. Luego viene el proceso de tostado. And tostado now he says that you, after those, after the 15 days or so exposed to the sun, you put them um, on the top of a, a stove in a container, and uh, they, you, it's called the toasting process, el proceso de tostar. And so uh, then you sort of stir the beans as they're being toasted, and uh, you can uh, 10, 15, 20 minutes, depending on the flame and depending on how you want the, the beans, how you want the coffee, the coffee, the uh, cocoa or the chocolate to turn out. Luego okay. viene el proceso de molido. And then the next process is to take this, this is a hand grinder, and he says you put the beans through the top and you grind the beans, and then the, they come, it comes out into a, uh, like a, um, um, uh, I can't think of the word. That's not, I'm speaking so much in Spanish. Can't think of the word in English. Um, uh, like a dough, it comes out like in, into a dough. Okay. Ingredientes: canela. And here to add more flavor, he says canela, which is cinnamon, sí, and clavos. these are clavos, which are cloves. And you can add those uh, to change the, the flavor if you would like. And a lot of families here in this part of Colombia add the uh, the um, those two ingredients. Después de molido, se hace una forma de masa. Okay, after they're ground, uh, the, you, 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 it creates the, uh, the dough, and uh, go ahead. Después de la masa, ya se procede a hacer okay. las arepitas. And then, and then after arepas. that, um, you, uh, you catch the, coming through the grinder, uh, you, you catch the dough, and you make little patties out of the dough, and then you... ¿Cuánto tiempo se tarda en, en secar eso? Para estos? secar unas cuantas horas. Unas uh, tres, just a few horas. hours later, you can make up these patties, and then they become hard. And then you can store the chocolate for whenever you want it. Or you can just grab a patty or two or three and put it into boiling water, and um, stir it around, and uh, add a little sugar, or boiling milk as far as that goes, and add a little sugar, and there you have chocolate, as we say, hot chocolate. ¿Y qué más? Ya, pues ya queda el producto listo para el consumo. Okay, and there the product is ready to be consumed, he says. So I hope you like this. Um, we just put this together, uh, thought about it this last night and put it together this morning here on the dining room table. <laughs> and um, so that's about it from Ocaña, Colombia. And hope you all enjoyed this as much as, as I did. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you again sometime soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.